it's Morgan. And it's Zane. And we're here in the Ariel Foundation Teen Maker Space. And this week for the summer reading program, we're going to be showing you how to make this cute little bird or owl. Little cute owl, guy. Little cute owl, paper owl. Then we also have some really awesome uh, bird feeders. Some pseudo cannibalism going <laughs> on there. Yes, definitely. Um, this is a bird. It actually kind of looks like the Twitter bird if you look at it. Oh yeah. So we're gonna have some birds eating birds. <laughs> That'll be interesting. And then lastly, for our bird themed bag, we have your very own bird house, which is super awesome. It's like a mansion. Yeah, a mansion house for your <laughs> bird. All right, guys, let's get started. So for this week's de-stress craft, you should have gotten about three different owls, little paper owls in your bags. Um, I'm gonna show you how to put them together. I went ahead and already cut this one out. Um, this is just an example. Um, we have a little uh, guide up here that can help. So the straight lines are you cut them on, out. The valley folds are just like fold it a little bit. Um, and then hill folds, which I don't know if we have any on here on this one, but um, these little numbers will help us know which order to glue. So if you look on your owls, you should see that number one is right here. So you can also see that there is a line to go ahead and cut all the way down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So I cut the little brown line right there. So it should look like that, little flaps. So what you need is scissors, glue, and tape. Um, you could either use glue or tape, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use both just to show you guys how. Um, so you're going to start by gluing the ones that just say one. So we're gonna start there. Just put a little bit of glue and then go ahead and bend that over because there is a dotted line. So it kind of disappears and then also bend this one in as well. And you will see the dotted line there so you won't get confused or anything. And then if you flip it over, you'll see that you need to fold it inward on itself and then go ahead and fold this one down too. So you're just sticking it to the back of the paper and making the folds look nice. So you'll be able to make a round shape like that. And if you're having a little bit of trouble, just grab some tape and tape it to the back because with glue, you will have to hold it in place until it dries. But I figured that the glue and tape combination works the best. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of tape right there, hold that in place. And then I'm gonna put a little more tape on that here. Okay, so it should look something like this so far. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bend this as well because there is a dotted line right here at the top. And then you're going to find the second part. So that is number two. So that would be right here. So there is also another line that you have to cut. So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut along this line. There we go and do the same thing where you take it and fold it in. And then take the glue and then glue it down like so. Oops, pop that a little bit. That is what the tape is for. Alright, so you should have something that looks like this so far. Now we look for number three. So three is right here. Doesn't look like there's any cutting involved on this one, so go ahead and fold that back. And then put a little bit of glue on it. And then fold this top part around like this. Hold it in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and tape it in place again. Okay, so it should look like this now. 
So we find number four. So four is just across from the third one you just did. Go ahead and bend that, it looks the same. number five so that these right here so this one and this one and it looks like these are just folded so I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in and I'm gonna fold this number five in as well just like that put some glue on it Got the beak lines up right here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take that one in place. Number five, the lid up as well. And tuck that in like so. And also tape it down. Next, we have the sixes, which are up here. So we're gonna take this one and bend that back on the dotted line like this. And then we're gonna fold these in on the dotted line like into his head, like so. Okay, first I'm going to, for this one, it might be a little difficult, so you have to stick your hand inside of it. But go ahead and glue these down. and then flip this back over. This one you want to make sure it's really lined up right. Might as well hold that in place. A minute. Tape. Go ahead and tape that down as well. through a little bit. You guys can always peel them back apart and fix it if you need to. That looks all right. So the next part, we're gonna find number seven, which is right here down by the feet. So we're gonna go ahead and bend that in again. Put a little glue. There's definitely a theme here. Gluing and taping, gluing and taping. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and overlap it again like this and tape it. So after that, you'll find eight, which is right here and right here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut all the way up the brown line and do the other side as well. Okay, so 
after that, you take the glue. Go ahead and do this one last time. There's no bending on this one. This one, you're just folding it over. So take that, and then fold it over like so, and do the other side like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and tape these down to make sure they're extra secure. Last thing, we're gonna take this, oop, we gotta cut this little guy out right here. There's another brown line. And these little things right here are the feet. So we're gonna go ahead and bend these feet out this way. And then up, and then take this one and then bend it in. And that's gonna help make it sit like so, okay? Then we flip it over and there we go. We have a standing owl. There, it might look better this way for you guys. <laughs> but regardless, there's your finished owl. Um, oh, and you can twist the ears, I should say that. Twist these little like ears up like that. And there you go, now you have a little hoot owl. Very cute. Okay guys, so in your craft bags this week, you should have gotten a little plastic baggie that has a birdhouse in it. So go ahead and grab that. And then you should have a little instruction booklet in here, um, some fun little cardboard things or stickers and string, paintbrush and some paints. So what I did is I went ahead and made little a little diagram with each of the things labeled, like here's F, here's E. There's D, C, B, and A. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this piece. So this is at the first piece, A, right here. So then you're gonna take B and line it up. Like so. Gotta make sure you're doing it the right way. Okay, like this. And these should snap into place. You might have to kind of like adjust it a little bit, but they will fit and there should be no glue needed. There we go. Okay, that's the first part. So next we're gonna move to C. We wanna make sure that these are going up towards us. There we go. Gonna move to D. So we're gonna make sure that this is facing down just like this one. I would slowly just try to wiggle it down in there. And you guys could put glue on it if you would like to make sure that it stays secure, but it should just stay together after you get everything put in there. But a little wood glue wouldn't hurt either, or hot glue, or whatever you have laying around. Um, okay, so the next part, we're gonna take the bottom right here, this is my corner piece, and then it might be easier to flip it over. Take a second to line it up correctly. Awesome, okay. And before we're gonna put this on, I'm gonna go ahead and tie the string around here. So I'm gonna put this side through and then the other part of the string through. And then flip it over and then tie a little double knot right here. Okay, so once you have it tied down like that, flip it up and then line this up once again. So there, you have a finished birdhouse. Doesn't take very long to do. Um, and again, you have the instructions right there with you. So if it gets confusing, just take a look at that and don't listen to me. <laughs> but now we're going to paint it. So this is the fun part. So I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way. You should have got an assortment of paint as well. 
I'm going to paint mine black, so why not? <laughs> yeah, I got a nice summer color here. Yeah, I'm going to use this bigger brush just to get it on faster. But you guys do not have to paint your birdhouse as well. If you like the nice wood grain, it does look really pretty. Just by itself, you could just add some of these stickers or things that you have. You could even spray paint it um, if you have that kind of stuff at home. But I'm going to go ahead and paint mine because that's what I have available here. dry for a minute but after that I will show you what I'm gonna do next so this next part I'm going to try is a little messy this is kind of an experiment because I wanted to maybe do some stripes but now I'm thinking maybe some sparkles but you guys can paint or use just whatever you have at your house um, you could add fun like dots all over it like I was gonna do stripes but now I'm thinking about something a little different so what I'm going to do is do another layer of my paint. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and take this glitter that I just have. Now I'm going to just dump this on here and just see how it looks because <laughs> I think it's going to look cool. Yeah, that looks like pretty awesome. <laughs> so then I'm going to knock some of it off. And a lot of this will stay on because the paint will uh, just be a, like a natural adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other sides like this too. a very black disco ball looking birdhouse. I think it looks really, really pretty in real life. I'm not sure how it's showing up on the camera right now, but it looks like a, like a bird rave is happening. <laughs> yeah, so I think it looks pretty awesome. So make it unique, make it your own. I definitely made it my personality. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. All right, see you guys. All right, guys, so this is what everything's gonna look like once you spread it out from your bag here. Um, I went ahead and just started with leaving the rope up here just to save us some time later on. But we're gonna go ahead and start off by pouring the gelatin mixture here into our mixing bowl. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a fourth cup of water, and then we're gonna pour it into the bowl along with it. And then we're just gonna take a little bit here and just kind of mix it all together. Okay, once that's all nice and mixed up there, we're gonna go ahead and pour our bird seed in there. All right, so after about mixing it for, you know, roughly about maybe like a minute or two, it should be good to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take my spoon and I'm gonna go ahead and just start filling in the cookie cutter here. We're just 
kind of press it down just to kind of flatten it out here. We're gonna put a bit more pressure down on there. We're gonna add a little bit more towards the tail feathers here. Looking good. Uh, so now it's just going to be a matter of time. So what we're going to now need to do is just go ahead and just put it in the refrigerator and let it just go ahead and freeze it a little bit for, I'm going to say roughly maybe about four or five hours. 